a lot of people are accepting situations that are lesser than what you really want just because it's something. Well, guess what? Something isn't always better than nothing, okay? Suddenly single after a marriage breakdown and the male friends around me are behaving so weirdly. Mm -hmm. I've not got many straight male friends because my ex-husband didn't like it. Mm -hmm. He left me in a terrible way under terrible circumstances with a newborn baby. So understandably, I'm pretty traumatized. However, I'm finding that the straight male friends I do have are all shooting their bloody shot and trying to get me into bed. I'm not a supermodel or anything. Just an average looking 31 year old. That's, uh, that's normally enough. You don't have to be a supermodel. Yeah. You have to be cute enough. Yeah. I've had one friend send me explicit messages about a dream he had about me. One called me in the middle of the night, started asking for sexy pics, and another straight up hitting on me on a daily basis. I'm at the most vulnerable and traumatized, and I feel like they're asking, they're trying to take advantage of me. Do most men, do most men genuinely suck? Am I missing something? Um, I don't think that most men suck. Well, first and foremost, there's always going to be someone that's going to be as horny as you're ugly. Second thing is. I don't know. I don't know the situation you have with these people and everything and stuff. But what I've noticed in the world is that there's a lot of people that use the word friends too loosely. You got to make the difference between a colleague, an acquaintance, someone you just met once, and a friend. Or a predator in waiting. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. A friend is a strong ass word. But people use it very loosely, just like the word love. Same way that I, the same way that I said that uh, men mostly have more respect for the word love than women because women use it more loosely. I love this, I love that, I love that. Oh, same thing with friends, and that's for everybody, though. The friend thing, y'all use loose, loose. You meet for a couple of beers with a couple of people, and suddenly you're friends. And I'm like, no, nah, that's not the definition of friends. Oh, my God, I can't believe that that person, why, why, would you can't, why wouldn't you believe that you just, you just meet to go drinks? That's not friends. That's bar acquaintances. Maybe I'm too particular on the words and stuff like that. But what I noticed is that people really use the word friends too loosely for everything and anyone and everyone. That's a friend. No, that's a work colleague. You only see them in the context of work. That's a colleague. It's not a friend. Anyways. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. I think like, it's, just, it's kind of beating a dead horse a bit, but it's just... I think a lot of women overestimate how friendly some of their male counterparts are in their lives and how platonic it actually is. Not realizing some people are just waiting for an opportunity. They can be cordial, they can be fine, and then once you're single, they make they shoot their shot. Now, is that wrong? I don't know. Maybe you would date them if you were single. That happens all the time. How many women leave a relationship and start dating their so-called friend? Mm -hmm. Or how many people say, I want a friendship first and then start dating the person? That happens all the time. So, like, it's hard for me to say. I think it's a bit deceptive when you say, like, there's no interest whatsoever. There never will be. And then you shoot your shot after the fact, right? Like, that's probably the deceptive part. But, I mean, I don't even know how wrong this kind of behavior really is. I would just say that maybe that's the reason why your ex-husband had an issue with some of these so-called male friends that you had. I think it's just being mindful to be really honest with yourself, to really actually like look at the men in your lives and really ask yourself like, why are they actually in my life? Are they just waiting? You know, and, and for some people, they don't mind being there. Why? Because they're not sitting by the phone the whole time. They're just like, oh, they say hi two, three times a year and they're cordial. Oh, you're single, I'm single, why don't we go out for drinks? And then you guys go out for drinks, you start dating. How many women come out of a divorce and want somebody they can be intimate with? Why? Because their divorce had a lot of intimacy issues. It happens all the time. So while it might be weird in this situation, there's plenty of other breakups where People monkey branch. They go from one dude to the next or one woman to the next. They've already lined it up. Well, who is that person? A friend? The truth is human relationships are messy. Mm. Categories aren't separate, believe it or not. Mm. Oftentimes, they overlap. They're more like Venn diagrams. Mm -hmm. All right? Friends go from friends to friends with benefits or friends go from friends to nobody or friends go from friends to marriage. Like It happens all the time. People are friends for eight, nine years and all of a sudden they're dating long term. That's beautiful. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Well, that same dude could be the one that you reject. You'd be like, why would he try to make a move on me? It's like, I don't know. Like, what y'all want me to tell you? You're around people enough. Romantic feelings can sometimes develop between the opposite sex in you. It's like, I don't know. So, how do I feel about this one? Not surprised. It's probably the best way I could put it. No, because you know what it is, man. You know what I say? A shoulder to cry on can become a dick to ride on. <laughs> there you go. 
So that's my thoughts on this whole thing. Anything else? No. Well, let's know what you got there. Okay. Cool. The guy I was sleeping with <laughs> blocked me after I asked if we will ever be more. That it's happened. about to get pity. I've been F buddies with this guy for eight years. Boom. Bumps. All we ever do is drive to him, have sex, or give him a All I ever do. Yeah. Get it in or, uh, or give a BJ, then leave immediately. He dated other people, but never me. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh. What was what, what was that? It's like you you went. Oh, honey. It's like when someone got cancer and you know they got cancer, but they don't know they got cancer. Yeah. That's, uh, 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 and you got to break the news. That was my girl to me. Won't talk about my dad. Oh, OK. Because I went to my girl. I was like, what's wrong to you? So what's wrong with your dad? I was like, I was like oh, no, that's cool. You know, he just has to get something in his head removed. And then uh, uh, they're going to do some chemo. And then they're going to do uh, some radio. So, yeah. And then she looked at me. She was like, that's cancer. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you didn't know? I it like it didn't I didn't calculate it because these mother all right I'm talking about my parents these mother let's just uh, bleep out the curse words I refuse to let him curse about his parents carry on these mother bleep so you have to you have to you have to blur I'm them a out, child dude. of God carry on oh no you're not get the fuck out hey, of here listen, fuck listen. out of here anyways they never talk about what they have right uh -huh. they never talk about their problem their issues we know issues and problems okay long after so peep game so i get to and i know you i know what you're thinking because you're like yo how could you not put this together this dude never really spoke about it. he's like you know he was always downplaying what he had so whenever i was talking i'm like no it's just it's nothing it's really just a little something they're just doing this thing just to it's just um preventative it's yeah. just it's not it's not the nurse. So I'm t I'm trusting the nurse. Okay. Saying, nah, it's just prevent. It's nothing. It's not a big thing. Cancer is a big thing. Well, I mean, I would have heard chemo. I'd have just said cancer. I understand, but if he's telling me it's preventive, it's nothing big. Okay. And it, you know, okay. he's like downplaying it, and like the way they made it feel, it was like if it was no. Sometimes they use chemo for other shit. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. It's nothing big. It's not what you think it is. Okay. Is you know nothing big, but you know. I'm kind of scared because it's in the brain. That's all he said. And I was like, yo, you could have said, I straight up, I have that. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's my little. Sign. Okay, all right. All right, well, there you go. Break the news. So she used to go on to say, honey, <laughs> I'm getting older and I actually want an actual relationship. Mm. I just feel we have great chemistry in the bed and we are comfortable and get along so I decided to ask him are we ever going to do stuff together or is this all it's going to be he said this is just it for now why did you meet someone I said why just for now no I didn't meet anyone if you want I'd tell you if I met someone else I'm not the type to just jump into a relationship he said I'm not really looking for anything more than that right now I said why you look like you looked for that in the past why not with me him, I'm busy at work. And then we didn't talk for two days, and I made my profile picture an ugly cartoon who looks like an ex. He completely deleted his social media. He hasn't answered my text asking. My text asking. She drew an ugly cartoon that looks like his ex and put her on her profile pic. That's weird. Yeah. Well, she, Read that bag. Was I wrong or petty? Did I communicate bad? Okay. And then he says he completed, completely deleted his social media. Or he, he hasn't. Did answered my text asking why he blocked me. I know he deleted it. Was I wrong or petty? Did I communicate bad? Does it sound like you just didn't want a relation with me? Why not reply? That's weird. The the, the picture with the X thing is super weird. <laughs> Yo, that caught me off guard. Everything was fine until she said that. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And her name, username is Acceptable Cat. This bitch is crazy. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're crazy. Okay. I mean, this one's not even complicated. He's just you're crazy. No, he just doesn't like you that much. No. That's and good. you're crazy. You know. You didn't have the attribute for a girlfriend for him, uh, and but you kept pushing. He said no. He probably didn't want to lie to you or whatever, whatnot. <laughs> but you going through the picture shit. Yeah, you get blocked. Listen, listen. You're a jump off. You only go in there to give him a BJ, you're a jump off. 
<laughs> That's what it is. He, I, I'm too busy at work. No, he just doesn't. Not interested in you. He wasn't too busy at work with the other women he dated. She's not that into you. I mean, I ain't, I ain't more complicated than that. That's it. Eight years. Him yeah. blocking you, honestly, is probably good for you. Yeah, it can help you move on faster. Yeah, so you can stop being disillusioned about it. Yes. Because you probably wouldn't want a relationship with him at any point during those eight years. And this whole time, he's just like, come over and blow me. You were basically something he masturbated into. If he never goes out with you anywhere, seen in public, going to do stuff with you at any point in time, uh, he's just Jump off. masturbating into your holes. It's not sex. You're like a, a cum reciprocal. Wow. And it's okay. You're allowed to be that. And not everybody got aspired to bigger things in life. Sometimes you can have low points. That's what you want. That's what you did. Or that's what you tolerated. Whatever. Uh, but hopefully this is like a growing point for you. And then the next dynamic you won't accept just going over to some dude's house on a regular basis to blow. I don't know too many guys here who would love to go to a girl's place just to eat them out and walk away. It might be sexy one time, but if you're constantly doing that, I'm going to look at you like you're a loser. Hey, it is what it is. Not more than that. Here, you get your phone. Thanks. Oh. Um, that's it that's all that was <laughs> you just didn't know it like for 8 years honey like that What's means you're 26 y'all started when you were 18 you didn't have no relationships or any kind of real dating experiences during that whole time it sounds like you might be a bit socially retarded too when it comes to dating that's what it sounds like to me the questions you're asking are so obvious literally everybody in the comments is like honey he told you what it was so I don't know the picture thing Wow. You you depicted something that was so crazy and want to want to communicate after that. I mean there's nothing to communicate. I, I think her That's doing, what I'm saying. I think her doing that picture thing is actually amazing. It's a great thing. Cuz it made him, gave I, him a reason to cut it off completely. Yeah, but after that she wants to communicate. Like you do something that crazy, people are going to want to don't have to communicate. Especially if you nothing but fuck it's a blessing in disguise. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. A lot of people can't handle hookup culture. It's just not for most people, especially ladies. It's just mm. not. Okay? I know some people want to say it is. Or There's some people who can't, but most of them can't. And they go into it thinking it's what they want in reality, like in terms of long-term goals. It's just not it. It actually works against them. Because think about it. She wasted all those eight years doing that shit with him. Expecting. You know, only to realize, like, oh, she does want more. <clears throat> she always wanted more. And she's now salty that other women got a chance. And why didn't she? It's like, well, you didn't set yourself up for that future. Mm -hmm. And I'm not here to admonish people. If you want no. to be in hookup culture, go and be in hookup culture. But be honest with yourself about what it is that you actually want. A lot of people are accepting situations that are lesser than what you really want just because it's something. Well, guess what? Something isn't always better than nothing. Okay? Believe it or not, sometimes it's better to have nothing because at least you're starting off with a clean slate. You're, up, you're open, right? Having a shitty job that occupies 80 hours of your day, okay, not always the best idea if you want to build a career towards something or you need to get skill sets for the next line of employment. Like you have no dating experience now. You're coming off of a friends with benefits where you're pretty much one-sided and treated terribly by your own choice. It's like you're 26 and stunted in a lot of ways. You didn't invest any of that to stuff from a dating perspective. So like, I don't know, to me, it's just one of those things where a lot of people need to stop accepting these kind of dynamics if they really don't want them. And I think people are learning that and they're getting better at voicing that voice, which is great. But, you know, I don't wish it on her. And I hope she recovers from this and gets better. Yeah, definitely. But a lot of people are really not good at voicing that. And then they're like, well, <laughs> how can he just voice what you wanted? You stayed in a situation you didn't really actually want. And then after that, when the thing doesn't work anymore, you're like, well, I wanted more. Well, if you wanted more, you shouldn't stay there. True. Absolutely. That's how I feel about it, too. Anything else you want to say? No. All right. Well, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We want to hear from you.